Close your eyes. Watch your breath. And think thoughts of gratitude. Today is the hundredth anniversary of a John Sowet's birth. He was the founder of the monastery. It was he who came up with the idea that we needed a forest monastery here in Southern California. One that was not just for Thai people, one that was for people of all races, all nationalities, all languages, as they say in Thai. And that thought, that kind thought, something he thought even at that point he was already in his 70s, is what gave rise to this place here, the place we have now. So here we have this opportunity to practice an ideal location. And he gave us a good foundation in the Vinaya, a good foundation in how the monastery should be run. So we're taking advantage of that. And this, of course, is the best way to show our gratitude, is by practicing. When the Buddha was passing away, the devas were sprinkling heavenly flowers, heaven, heavenly incense, playing heavenly music. And before he passed away, the Buddha said, that's not how you show proper respect to the Buddha. You show proper respect by practicing the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma. In other words, whatever the Dharma is, you adapt yourself to it, instead of trying to adapt the Dharma to your ideas. It also means practicing for the sake of disenchantment, dispassion, seeing that our old ways of feeding, old ways of trying to find happiness, just don't hold any interest anymore. We've tried them again and again and again, and they don't really provide anything that's thoroughly satisfying. So we practice for the sake of something better. Whatever needs to be done, as the Buddha said, to see the as yet unseen, realize the as yet unrealized, attain the as yet unattained. We're willing to do it. It means we have to do things we have as of yet have not yet done. And so here's our opportunity. This teaching has been passed on from generation to generation to generation down to ours. Let's hope that we keep it intact as we pass it on to the next. So in this way, we benefit ourselves through the practice. We show our respect to people gone before, and we show our kindness to people come after. It's in this way that the true Dharma stays alive in the world. <laughs>